Hey everybody, this is Shaheen Sarani from TeamFaceToFaceGames.com bringing you a little uh, Esper Control treat for the night. Um, still pretty busy when it comes to um, my uh, 9 to 5 and uh, the new kid, but I tried here and there to give you a, a recorded piece for uh, our pro team here at TeamFaceToFaceGames.com that I'm just... Um, you know, a privilege to be a part of, and um, you know, every tournament that comes up close, you know, as the date approaches, all I can think about is you know, meeting up the squad again at the team house and uh, really preparing to uh, battle the best. And what better way to prep is there with uh, you know, with a little Esper control? Um, this is the list I'm on currently. I changed a few cards here and there. Um, from the list I've posted, but you know, I'm always changing cards like I have an elder spell on the sideboard I'm not convinced of it. I haven't been a fan um, So far, but you know, I have to give it this due diligence uh, the second Vona is uh, another teammate um, Edgar um, Who has convinced me to play one and now I'm trying two because he's adamant about how great it is and it has been pretty good um, Not convinced on the second, but you know, we're giving it a whirl and then the main deck, you'll notice, um, I cut the Chemistry's Insight, I cut the um, uh, the uh, V-Spark, and I added Avrask's Contempt, and I've added a uh, second Dovin's Veto. I also cranked up the Moment of Craving, or the two mana removal spell, I added the Moment of Craving, to give it the turn three Narset uncontested. I tried the version with Dovin's Veto, and it was god-awful, like when they cut, a lot of versions cut Absorb, and I was just getting creamed by everything and just um, you have to have hard counters in a control deck like this uh, just because of how diverse the format is and it's just crazy to, to you know go to two or one or zero and play max and negates it's just not a standard uh, strategy that anyone should use so um, typically I run like a little traditional league but I don't like a lot of times the decks we don't uh, I've been doing traditional leagues mostly but the decks we face are not exactly um, what you may face in the metagame. So we're going to play some ranked. Um, I've done a little MTGO playing lately, so I haven't been doing a whole lot of arena standard um, this week. But I want to uh, break into it because it's a lot more entertaining to watch. And, you know, I, I enjoy playing it more so. It's less of a job because arena is so awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and play a few uh, traditional ranked here. I dabble with some Esper midrange. Um earlier, but I think Esper controls where it's at at this point. So we'll play, you know, uh, probably like five matches or so if we can get the time in maybe four um, and just kind of like give a little bit of analysis of how the matchups are and what decisions we had to make and uh, pretty easy keep here. Slowish hand. A lot of mono red online. Um, on Arena especially. I play it pretty often. I would say it's the majority of matches I play, so um, we're going to lead off with Water Grave here. This hand's a little bit weak to Mono Red's strong start. Um, we have the Oath, but it could end up, we could end up just getting run over here. So, hopefully he doesn't cast too many spells here. So this is actually not too bad for us. We should be able to Oath our life back and go to Wrath the next turn. Um, an untapped land would be great, or additional removal spells or absorbs are great. Um, and we kind of like see the negative of four Narset here, but these would have been just chemistry's insight, which, is, which would have been just as horrific here. So I'm not upset about us drawing these, because these would just be chemistry's insights right now. Which would be even worse. We're going to have to tap out every turn. So here we're going to get a 12. We're going to be able to wrath everything away. That's a pretty good draw for the future. But right now, our hands are tied. But nine life. So him passing is pretty good. This, our opponent's passing is pretty good. So we're going to play this so we can have two open right now. Past, present, and future are bound by keep an open mind. Okay. 
If we don't die, we're looking pretty good. A couple burn spells here to the dome would uh, finish us off here. Well, well, shocking narcissist, fantastic. Wow. Sign me up. Still have much to learn. Right. Oh, that's a great draw. We are very safe now. Even the draws are a little clunky. If you hit like one or two of your hate cards, you're you're really cruising here. Like it's it's tough to it's tough for Monterey to handle all this life gain. This is another reason why Absorb is just so important. I just can't imagine a world without it. So we're gonna play Narset. This might trigger a um, risk factor. Nope. If you wish to surrender now, please meditate and prepare. So we're gonna keep that. We're not gonna use it though. He's not gonna, our opponent's not gonna risk factor, are they? Um, we're gonna let this happen, I think. I'm tempted to counter, but we could just get punished by uh, the main deck. And we don't wanna do that. Our opponent would need to have three burn spells right here to punish us for that. Um, like a fourth mountain and go like shock, strike, uh, skewer or something crazy. I don't think it's in the cards at this point. Kind of think maybe the kind of wizard lightning might have been the bet, the safest, but it's not the most optimal. I feel like um, <clears throat> anytime you can snap off and absorb to reduce the life gain or the life loss is crazy. It's never going to counter anything Slumpy like this. They can shock all they want. And this is going to resolve. And we'll move to the Oh, we Alright, so then we'll do our thing. Oh! <laughs> You know, it feels good to be right sometimes. <laughs> and if they would have hit that fourth land, that would have just been a wrap. And now we're in a bad spot. We have to counter any burn spell. Not in a bad spot, but we have to counter any burn spell. We gotta pretty much counter anything. Um, maybe not that. I'm not gonna counter that. If it was a two damage burn spell, I would have, because we're not in danger of ever getting four mana burn spell here, so. And my opponent just has frenzy and nothing right now. So we counter anything they do here. They can't risk factor us. I just counter it, doesn't matter. Now this game's over. Now we have seven, so. Going for a uh, thought erasure, but we're just going to pass through. We have time ravel or bouncing oath of Kaya. Well, this game's just super, super over. Um, sure. We will come forward here. I am not going to sit this way. Here we go. Is there a better feeling in the world than that against Monored? Maybe. Not that I know of. This game is uh been over. Okay. Sure. Now the slow painful death of killing them with trying to draw five minutes of fairy. Oh, I've done the hero thing. I know. You this know what? Is, I'm not done yet. This is my favorite part of magic where we just like are doing horrible things all the time. And they just stay. They stay because they think there's some hope, some choice they have. It's just an illusion. I'll give you 
this one here. Maybe they're waiting for that one. But nope. Hold that thought. Our opponent is a trooper. That's more like it. Oh how unlucky. I don't like to give analysis at this point in the game because this game has been over for quite some time. <coughs> Kai's Wrath was great there, but it's just not as good as uh, Cry the Canarium. So we bring those three in. We cut the Kai's Wraths. We bring in Bona. Bring in the Moment of Craving. Bring in the Oath of Kaya. Um, those are the definite bring-ins. I've been changing the sideboard around a little bit, so let's make sure we have enough to cut. I got another two Teferi. Sometimes I go down to one. Uh, we may be, it may be a one Teferi type of day here. I, I never go below three Narset. You just need the card advantage. Um, I, I usually go down and shave one Search for his Kanta. The reason why I save, uh, shave Search on the draw is because you just don't have time on two. Like, your hands of two mana Search with no interaction are like, unkeepable anyway. And then if you have a two mana and an interaction spell, search is pretty awful uh, because you'd rather just have a third mana and Narset um, and let it just run it out there, maybe fog for the turn, definitely get some card you definitely really need. So this is kind of the setup I like for the post board games. Um, there's some validity to additional Dovin's Vetoes and Duresses, um, like cutting a t uh, one more five to Fairy might be reasonable. You can't ever cut the three drop to fairy because there it's uh, just the ability to balance out the Kai is just this is an obscene play um, and just it's just too it's just game game locking so um, this is the setup I like and we're gonna run with it um, I definitely have cut the five drop to fairy before but you know if you're dropping it for a duress or for a veto a lot of times you're using those cards to answer their expensive late game cards they're bringing in. So this in the end right here, I have the one search, you know, the dream. But le very likely, I'm not going to be able to use that too. I'm going to probably be doing everything in my power not to be run over here. Might be one of those games where you have to find Cry. So we have to fire off this one here. Hopefully stymie the three drop. Like, yep, this would be a wrap here if we let this happen. Okay, a moment of craving will work. We risk land drop issues, but at this point, we don't really have an option. We have to try not to die here. I don't understand. A lot of times our opponent, uh, the opponent doesn't want to use the um, Wizard's Lightning on their turn. Because if I have, my hand's like, uh, negate or Dova's Veto and Kaya's Wrath. I just can, you know, use that to, to keep my life total up. Unfortunately, that's not our hand right now, so. Okay, so we're going to let this resolve. We're actually in a moment of craving it on our turn. It's going to prompt him to hit fourth land experimental frenzy, but we're not going to, we can't eat the damage anyway. And the reason why I do it now is because if he draws another. Wizard of Lightning will cost one mana, and we don't want to. We don't want our opponent to have that. So he's going to play in uh, Frenzy. We had the Mortify, no big deal. So really, we're in the driver's seat. They just need if they have a second one of these, and you know, push his life. But we, I think we played this game pretty well. They're down to two cards. We're at a life total that's manageable, and then we just got unlucky. Like a second, they, the the second Frenzy was a must for them. Now maybe we'll get lucky to draw land here. No. Nope. So now we are at the mercy of the friendly. I think, you know, that was pretty unlucky. Um, we saw their hand had to be had to be a second one there. So they kind of okay, we're gonna put the main phase on. So there's another spell on top. That's important for us. I almost don't want to minus here. I think we play this in plus. Can we minus? We just get burned out from the hand, and there's a spell on top. So the the knee-jerk reaction would be an immediate minus. This here. isn't a fight. You but I think win. we're dead if we do, because our opponent no has two spells in hand. 
and then t and then spell on top. I think that's just suicide. So like, our only chance to win this is by passing, hoping the top is not friendly, being able to veto something, and then untapping the minus it. So that's a good that's a good use of their land. So we get to counter that spell. This that's pretty good. So we might need for sure a. We flip this cancer. No. Don't think we're gonna win this game, but you know. And we'll go out swinging here. So this game was actually like I say we were we we're like ten percent to lose. Had to be set. Had to draw a second copy of Frenzy right then and there. Um, if we would have held the negate, it would have mattered because we would have been so low on life, and the, we were you know definitely has more spells in hand. So this is this game is pretty over. Kind of shows you the ineffectiveness of search. Don't make another move. And we can't. I do not think we can come back from this board sick. We will meet again. But. We will. I, the bluff here is not worth it. The multiple spells we can cast is next turn. Like I said, we're not winning this game, but <laughs> we're trying to be true to our outs here. Take our five here. Six, really? Okay. We will get burned for the final bit. Okay. Still not winning this game. There's Vona. Alright. Um, I still like our setup. Um, we're a little soft to Frenzy, but... It's, it really has not been an issue for me. I think I still don't like to bring in Kai's Wrath because we can get a little heavy on the removal. We really lost a game to Frenzy where the 17 creatures came flying out of that. So I still really like this setup. Um, and we're gonna run it as is here. Even that last game with the, the the frenzy that our opponent ripped, I don't think I, if we drew a fifth land there, it would have been tit for tat there. I think we would have won that game. It would have negated the frenzy, uh, the, the three creatures that followed it, or the two that turned, and the two the next turn would have never happened. Um, so we still had a chance to kind of break the rules there. So this is a risky black-white control hand, but we this is a auto keep. We just need to be I think one gets to draw here. A little, little land spot here. A little assistance. Okay. Black-white control it is. So we're gonna take this one damage. <coughs> we need to burn through this cry real quick. And if they have light at the stage, this such as life. Pretty good, I'll take it. We're just 
doing doing our thing here, you know, going through killing things. Again, kind of weak to frenzy here, but. Perfect. Man. So now, again, we're back to this game being pretty unfortunate for them. So we're just going to kill this right now. 23 life, you know, a nice healthy life total here. I think we let that resolve. All right, we draw a land, we cry it away. If not, we let it, we let it do its thing for a minute. So, I think we thought Erasure, and then we cry here. I think we set us ourselves up for a, I think Vana is just too risky. So there are a lot of frenzies here. So Vana would have been pretty safe, unfortunately, but that ship has sailed. So we are where we are. Fourth land is there. We got Ivana our way through this. It's not, but we are rolling. That will survive for a long time because we are not tapping out. <laughs> Alright, actually, we are. So, the Vana I didn't want to play, but because our opponent has to Wizards Lightning and Fanatic it, we are in pretty good shape here. Oh, so. And we get two card combo here, and then we play the second one, and I think they're in deep, deep trouble. All right, Edgar, fine. Hope you don't ever see this video. We agree, Keith, that he never sees this video because we'll never hear the end of it. So, <laughs> second Vana, wrap it up. <laughs> And then the next one will be Exile. And the next one will be Exile, okay? Alright. Seven life. Okay. And this game is turned pretty lopsided at that point. Alright, so Vana's Vana's great. At least I've been wrong a few times about cards. I played Vana before and it was pretty good. But um, it really does dodge a lot of the removal and allows you to tap out more aggressively. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I'll protect you. So at this point now we're just playing with uh, our opponent here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay seven life and exile this card here. Because this doesn't matter. <coughs> no. Okay. I suppose that's how Very it was meant strong. to happen. Crash in again. Okay, this little number here. We could target the opponent, but at this point now it's like optimal plays just, just to say we made optimal plays. Alright, crash. Could be a eight life or any game here. More life. Above 30. There you go. Alright. 
right. Yeah, I went Mythic and lim Limited both times for the season, so we'll be playing in the end tournament uh, to qualify for the Arena Championship, or whatever it's called. But Constructed, I haven't really touched on the rank side. I really grinded my collection. I actually have a pretty good collection here from just grinding um, Limited and also playing the traditional Constructed. I did a lot of that. But I'm new to the ranked world, so um, trying to get my trying to make a little footprint in it and see how we do. Might not have time for as many as I thought, so these matches do take a little bit of time. So I think at least three. We're gonna go for three. Apparently our opponent's username was taken. Okay. Play first. And of course we have just a wonderful hand. They get some blue deck. Pretty decent hand against most decks. Hopefully not mono red. It's kind of boring. Um, the decision tree is not ripe with fruit there. All right, we have a blue deck. So we get our. Esper mid range. Esper mid range. It is. So I usually just destroy this right off the bat, and we can still do that play. We are definitely open for a thief sanity, and then we'll be forced to wrath, and then it kind of gets a little messy. But that's okay. Please ignore this. Let them search for a bit. In the meantime, we will. So that we drew a game changer, of course. The four mana spell that punishes a Soren. Um, so we're just gonna play a land and man, this is this is close. Soren is not the worst. I think we're gonna play. The second wrath joins the team. Sworn minus forces to wrath. Oh wow! A lot of the, the issue, and this is what I have with the Esper Midrange deck. This one's curve is a little, a little funky. Um, so now there's no problem for sacrificing this. We get thought eraser here. Just the trick for which we this. do. I think we use it. Let's see what's going on. Get the game plan going. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Still no reason to tap out. Nars was another attractive draw there, but we just counter the uh, that resolves. We let all this resolve and then we wrap them away. Alright, go for it. It does put us down to turn for like a Teferi to resolve or something. But it's to, we have. To, I still. I think that using our car. Oh, well, now it doesn't. But oh wait, we need all of our white. So I've got time. So we are open to a Teferi. We need to follow up with Narset. A little bit, a little bit loose. But I think Teferi is going to be using its tuck ability on search right away. So then we would, worst case scenario, our opponent's playing around to sell the wreckage. Okay. Okay. If he has, or our opponent has to carry out his tough this, and everything else is easily, easily answered here. So we have six in the graveyard, I believe. So this is an easy bin. Plus, uh, I've got it. 
So we're going to just cast this card here. Need to not be able to lose the game, I do not think. And BBD wrote a pretty good article, and when I was talking to him about mid-range and tweaking it, uh, the best mid-range decks don't play Discovery because it's just, it's just a bad card. It's a mana waste. Just because it's multicolor doesn't mean you play it. The reason why these cards are so good is because they play, you play cards that are also just multicolor cards um, that are good on their own. You don't want to play cards just for the sake of them being multicolor. Let's try this. So if you wouldn't play that card in a normal deck, then it's probably not good. In Discovery, you don't have any graveyard synergy. You don't have any... The balance is just not really realistic in your deck. It's, it's okay. Some some variety. But two mana preordain in your tempo deck is pretty poor. Alright, so this matchup is a little bit more confusing. It really depends on the build. I bring the Elder Spell sometimes, but we're on the draw and we just can't get thieved out of this game. So a lot of the cuts I make here are like, I take out Kaya's Wrath for Cry again. I like the Dovin's Vita, I like all the two mana removal. Um, I cut the, they don't really have, uh, they have um, deten Deputy of Detention so you can't replace Cast Down with Moment of Craving, but oftentimes I find this would be better if you could just kill the two drops and then gain two life just on the way out. Um, there's no real card I'm dying to have in here. Oath is kind of medium. Um, the three drop Planeswalkers are great. I like. To, I think on the draw I just want to have all my two cost removal so I can prevent being um, just losing to the creatures because that's all you lose to. Uh, if Edgar was playing this, I keep bringing him up because him and I talk a lot of strategy of Esper. He brings in Thief against everything. Um, I, I like Thief on the play. I don't like it on the draw. I still want to be a control deck on the draw. Um, so the rest of this, rest of our options are kind of mediocre. Again, the Elder Spell, I guess one of these days I'm going to bring in against these matchups, but I need to see more Sorns and I guess see the Planeswalker package after board before I like commit to such a narrow card. I just want to kill their creatures, counter some spells, and have some late game answers. Um, and then still Moment to Fairy. This is a keep, a reluctant keep. We need a blue source. We have an extra blue source in the deck. But we have that Lisa removal not to die to creatures early on, even through a duress or thought erasure. Yeah, well, I had the whole time. <laughs> So, again, if that was like a Thought Erasure, Duress, even, not, obviously not against this hand, but like even a hero would just be fantastic for her, like a start. But when it's not, it's just kind of it's just embarrassing. So, he left, the opponent left two on top, which makes me want to hold the Erasure, but we really need to hit something besides removal spells here. Oh, well, we can't kill this, so let's take that. I'm known for my excellent timing. This might be a bad idea. That is problematic. And that's why I left one oath in to kind of handle the fairy too. So it looks like here goes nothing. We are going to be at the whim of this planeswalker for a bit. Oh well. Counter spell in hand. So we're not gonna go with the cry because they have a counter spell. So we're gonna try to destroy it. This here.
I prefer, I like the pool, I like the play still just to make sure we don't get blown out by the Vegeta. And just a, a ray of tempo coming at, her, at us there. So our opponent keeps topping, not putting any cards don't in the graveyard. Work. I got this. So there's a high likelihood if we keep drawing land and we've surveilled the land and um, we flooding is going to get us this game because more planeswalkers will arrive. Uh, that's one of the better cards again, like for them to have. So our hand is garbage. Top, top, top. Hmm, that's lucky. What are the chances of this resolving? Hundred percent. Of course. I won't hide in the world gonna, any longer. I really wish that creature wasn't there. Now, if we would have uh, cried, we would have been uh, it here. I think we have to plus. Keep up the pace. The bell haunt. Still no, plus. I am not wow. making this up as I go. I'm too old for this. So we have to plus again for the hand. It still is Hurry. pretty awful. Okay. A little risky, but you know. I think not doing it is much worse. Sometimes there's not a lot of bell haunts after board against us. Um, maybe one, but at least both were brought in. Maybe put in three, and we have to reconsider. Cry over. Um, wow. So I'm pretty sure they have a Teferi or a Liliana. Benning Dovenzito is huge here. I know they're looking for an answer for Teferi, but like. This is, this is a land that gives away a lot of information. Still plus it. Here we go. It's craziness. All right, well, I'm gonna punish our opponent for that. Not so fast. I just don't think you can plus there anymore. Like you must draw cards there. <laughs> and there are other cards. Okay. Beefus A. Right on schedule. Plus again? Trust me, oh, I have a plan. I do not understand. Let's I don't want to play this part. because they're just going to bounce on all them draw a card. <laughs> what are the chances of our opponent having an Elder Spell? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, here's five minutes of ferry that we've been waiting on for about an hour here. I don't know. Mortify. Maybe D Spark? No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay, continuing on. Drawing cards. We need here. to move quickly. Supposed to draw another worthless to ferry here. I don't understand what's going on. I think that it kind of threw this game away. So it's definitely a spell in hand. I think we want this. It's close though. I think they might have got a Lily on it. But what? I don't understand. <laughs> How do we win if we just, just play that? That's more like it. Should hold that land, but. Just so flabbergasted. So now our opponent can't draw cards and we lose the game. Okay. It's a bold strategy, losing the game, but. Arena's easy. Nice. 
<laughs> Alright, so we play against Mono Red, Esper Mid Range. So far, real deck, real deck. Let's, let's get another one going. Let's see what we wrap up with. I really enjoy. I might even concede if we play against something goofy. I just want you all to really see um, this deck in action. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. And any comments that you have, please message me on Twitter at ShaheenMTG. And be sure to check out Face to Face Games to see the latest with the sweet pro team that we have crafted. So red green. Maybe it's the mono red with the green splash. Maybe it's the Lana or Elf beatdown gruel aggro deck. Probably the gruel aggro deck now based on its start, so. Let's get some they have a lightning strike for sure. I don't like that about MTGO. Kinda takes away the magic a little bit. So this hand has three cards that we cannot beat. This one is before these two, so I feel inclined to take this one. But we can bounce it with the fairy. So I still think we take this one. Oh, aren't you just Okay. Okay. Still think we do this trying to hit a counter spell or something to soften the blow about what's about to happen here. I think that this beats us more than this because we can wrath and let our, their opponents land away. This just straight up is a nightmare. Feels bad for all these lands in the graveyard, but we need. Action, like a counter spell or another called erasure. Um, the brass is content. Really searching for specifics here. So land number four comes down, and we just are just hoping bad things don't happen to us. So I'm going to actually. We don't want to. Ex I think we. I feel like this is the play to delay because the then let's say Nissa comes down. Nissa, yeah. Mm, tough spot. I want to draw a card because we're effectively at if he strike or if opponent strikes us as three eleven, then sixes us as five. Probably wrath. That's a bad spot. Um, Teferi kind of pulls a little bit of targeting. I'm going to Teferi here. Oath and oh, between that and Oath, oh, definitely not. So I cannot play Surf right now. Oh, because they didn't Lightning Strike in response. That's, uh, let's hear that. So here comes the bad, the bad times. <laughs> this is when we start killing lands and lands and lands and hoping I've beaten this about half dozen times, just killing all the lands, the ultimate, and then eventually I just deal with the Planeswalker. Um, I've beaten the ultimate more times than I should have probably. Because unfortunately for him, our opponent, the instant speed of this Kai's Wrath is going to be pretty devastating. Let's see what it says here. Cool. And opponents just never see it coming. They might just put three counters on this. Nope. Poor opponents just never see it coming. Just always just a disaster. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice. You want that? That was fun for, was that fun? 
Uh, that was too good. No, fairy. You just let me know. We can delay the ultimate as well by a thing. This and I'm feeling like that's the play because it's gonna go to eight and then we we're gonna set this our opponent up here. We're gonna oath it. Let them keep making lands. We're going to they're gonna play a gruel spellbreaker if they get there. If not, then we just keep killing the lands. Like there's a high price on this planeswalker. It's not all rainbows and sunshine here. Flip it. Okay. Always main phasing. So we're going to go down to five here. It's going to be worth it though, just for more destruction. Life tells me low, I just. Chandra, if they play Chandra, we're just not getting attacked next turn, except for three. They attack us for three. Read this thing. One, not a creature you control, one tap it. So, we only attack this turn if they play Chandra. So I'm actually okay with that. This is where we get attacked. I mean, I'm just thinking about the, the burst damage here. We're at 11. I'm going to take this. Might be questionable, but... Our life total is not exactly a robust number right now. Once this wrath hits to this game is gonna be tough for them to go down to one land. Friend. Okay. So we'll do this. That force was double damage, so we're going to we're in trouble. Behold, nature's true power. Gain all life here. Don't think we have anything else here. Go to six, die. Don't think we have any else. Except we do have else. There's always a way. Okay. Exciting. Good game. All right, so. Kill the forest. This is a good game. Strike. Could I prevent a dying to this? Oh, actually, yeah, our opponent has to. If they want to strike us, they can't. They lose mana right here, so it's the same thing. So we're, we're still in trouble there. I think they have a strike in hand. So they have a strike in hand. 
that means we're going to be in a world of hurt here. So, oh, I just messed up. It's okay though. We've been we've uh, salvaged it. I could have time I could to ferry bounce this and then uh, oath. Now I cannot. So we're gonna pass turn. Actually, no, we're not. We'll see. What can we do here? No, we just do this here. Go to five. Yeah, we're good. I'm just popping my options here. I'm just thinking about the ultimate. How much it, it hurts us to now. Now we're in really good shape. Next turn we get to fairy bounce and then kill the mountain here. So the opponent did not have a strike. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got you. This is the combo deck we talk about here. This is the to fairy bounce our oath combination deck. All right, let's let it let the hate flow through you here. Mm. How quickly things <laughs> unravel! Ooh, <laughs> that was a that was a real barn burner right there. Okay, well, um, I think against Chandra. Sarkin and Nyssa, we have to bring in the Elder spell for an appearance. Kai's Wrath is so great. Um, I think Vona is probably good against three threes with haste and then exiling troublesome cards. Um, I think Thief of Sandy might steal a game on the draw, on the play. There's no way bringing that on the draw. Moment of Craving definitely loses his oomph here. That's where you, you get hurt because um, it just doesn't kill enough. Uh, they probably have uh, the two drop that searches for other two drops, but I don't think it's still pretty narrow. Uh, Dovin's Veto is one of those. They have devastating planeswalkers, but it's so bad otherwise. Um, there's a chance that our opponent now will move their creature to four fours to dodge Oath of Kaya. I really don't like the matchup game two, but you know. We, we work with what we got. I think we cut it to fairy. I think I, I never go to zero. I like to keep one around, um, but it's definitely the least effective in this matchup. Big to fairy is great. Narset is great. We need the card advantage. Um, it's down to one more cut, and I believe it needs to be. Might have to be the other to fairy, even though I just said I wouldn't do that. Feel pretty heavy on the six drops, but they're all pretty darn good. So I'm gonna cut an oath for now. I don't like it, and we're gonna have to revisit this because it did save us that last game. But I don't think I think we were scraping, and I don't think it's the best against if our opponent adapts and makes four fours. So we're a little bit lighter on the removal. Dovin's veto could be horrible, depending on the draws. Um, We'll see. A lot of these hands have been self-explanatory for keeping or not. And the Warlock always makes me pretty nervous on turn one. And we usually can't spend time killing it because we have stuff like this happens. Alright, so we're going to take some damage here. We're going to say go, put an attack step on, see what craziness our opponent has. There are worlds where we don't kill war boss, but maybe like a planeswalker we can't beat, and we just have to take another round of beatings here. So by not killing this, we are taking a butt ton of damage here. If we counter this, we take 
two, three, four, five, six, go to 11, kill it. Then we take five, go to six. I don't think we have that, we don't have that power here. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. The mysteries of life are It hurts. Endless. But. Turn one, land world, turn two, Legion War Boss reminds, gives me like night terrors of the old days. When they said they would never reprint that card again. Uh, whatever we got from Rabble Master. And they did. They lied to us. Bunch of liars. Well, let's take a look. Alright, well we'll take Cinder Vines because um can't do that card, so pretty easy. Luckily, that gruel, our gruel friend has haste, so it's a matter of pricing to cast our opponent to cast it as a flash card. So that's what really beats our Kai's wrath strategy. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Fair statement. Vine Mare. Yikes. Yeah, stop tapping all my black. My cloud meditate and prepare. Five. You want to depend on the next card being another wrath because we can survive regardless without this. I think we need to bear it. Here. <coughs> this definitely feels like a tough matchup. There's just so many really tough to do things. Let me show you what Wait, every card lost. must be killed. Good. So we will go to seven here. Not bad. Effectively Earth. one. Try to hit a Kaya's Wrath and then proceed to win another tough one. So game three, we're definitely bringing in. Oh no. <laughs> Bring in those, we're gonna bring in a Thief Sanity. So we're dead this game. Vona. Boom. Okay. First, that was that was tough. Alright, so can't traditional can't win the traditional way. Let's uh, let's cheese him out. So Oath, like I suspected, is not good. Um I think with all these early drops, we probably don't need four to ferry. Search against search against this deck. It's okay on two, but Cinder Vines makes that less attractive. I still like one to ferry. Do I like one to ferry? No, I'm just being stubborn. To ferry goes. I think the removal package is fine. Um, the lack of a moment kind of hurt there. Um, maybe if three th a three three is our problem, because Mortify, I really just want to have a two mana interaction spell and play Thief of Sanity this game. So I don't even know how great Mortify is. 
because it doesn't kill the early stuff and the late stuff's like arc like phoenix and giant things. Um, and I think Dovin's Veto is a must still. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a little wild here. Let's uh, let's go down one more to Fairy. Let's bring in the moment of craving. I think we we'll cut the mortify. Let's do that. I want to kill Legion War Boss on two, and I'll play my Thief of Sanity on three. This could be a disaster. Let's find out. It makes sense in my head, so that's good. It's not exactly a throwaway like you would automatically assume. It's pretty slow. Got my car draw, I got my lands. Oh, I'm That's better. I kept seven though, pretty scary. Especially we start off with the same action here. Yeah. So this is where that moment of craving would have been nuts, just to set up the the dream or any two mana interaction. And this thing gives reach. Found out the hard way. People, not so much. Have you ever lost a home? Found that out the hard way. Why would it get reach? Reminds me of like Rurik Thar when he's attacking at that. So far, explains a lot, actually. Not too afraid. So far, not too afraid. We're just gonna get reach. He's trying to trick me. In a blade of grass. Fool me once. Yeah, I don't fall for that nonsense anymore. So we're getting to the point of. Getting overrun by these planeswalkers. I can attack them, but just I don't feel like that's a winning strategy. I think we just need to get some of this, these sweet spells here. And we'll bind Mara as well. Actually. High likelihood of a big old creature coming down and oh, no. What's and that? Maybe a tyrant, carnage tyrant. Wait, that might be me. Starting over is the only way. Thanks. What know you of dragons? Come to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we all know what we need here. Do you guys believe? Are you all believers? Elder spell. Oh. Elder spell right here. Prove your worth. Unfortunately. No dice. So, um. We are dead. We can do nothing and chump block. Yep, that's uh that's a wrap. GG. Planes always are tough. There's a lot of them out there. Okay, so um 
if anything, that convinced me maybe a second elder spell if uh, things are looking like a red green beatdown world. Be it the first game, it was kind of tricky to do, but we got there. Um, I think that, you know, a fourth Kai's Wrath might be helpful. Um, maybe even the Teferis might have actually been pretty good there. Maybe I shouldn't have cut them because, um, you know, being able to cast on their turn against all these hasty creatures, like you wouldn't be able to get Sarkin like that, or um, even against like the Gruul Spellbreaker is pretty good. I like the way we sideboard otherwise. I, I, like I said, I, except for Thief Sandy game too, I just don't think we can out. This is something that I get into debates with uh, my team about is I don't think you can out aggro the aggro decks. I don't think you can out mid-range the mid-range decks. I think you need to stay true to the control game plan. And when they bring in um, a higher end game, you just bring in the answers to the higher end game like the Elder Spell and maybe like another um, Contempt or maybe a Dispark in the sideboard, Vana. Like these are things that answer those things. Where I think going low against a Land of War Elf deck, against a White Aggro deck, I don't know if it's worth it. So um, pretty sweet games. I really enjoyed them. They were pretty epic, especially the game against Red Green that we won game one. And then against Red, you saw the power of Esper against them. And uh, Esper Midrange, I think, is also a good matchup. So I think Esper's got a lot of good matchups. And... Um, You'll see always a good amount of content from me on social media and on face-to-facegames.com about how uh, I test with this deck and how I've uh, you know polished this deck and changed it to the metagame. So if you're ever interested in updates, uh, tune in and uh, check me out on social media and check me out on face-to-facegames.com. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.